All right, you guys, Chelsea is getting ready to go to jujitsu. Cousins are picking her up and she's going with them today because I am helping Papa with a project at his house. I'll show you that in a little bit. So, all ready to go? Um, Looking schnazzy? Pretty much. Did you eat something? No. No. She says, I'm not hungry. I'm like, I think you should probably have something before you go and- I'm not usually hungry like early. I know, I'm not either. I know, it's tough. Or maybe you could bring some with you just, I don't know. Look at me, I packed a little lunch for my work day. <laughs> Peanut butter sandwich, sun chips, peanuts and strawberries in Chelsea's little bento box. There is my lunch. I'm gonna need it because I'm gonna be working up a hunger. All right, so this is what we're working on. <laughs> I'm going to paint <sighs> all the wood on top is going to be this color green. So it's like a special like John Deere green. So we're kind of going around and sanding bits of it. All the metal on the bottom is gonna be the yellow of John Deere. So there's like rusty um, peely paint on here. So I'm going around with a wire brush and giving it a good brush. This spot over here is really, I've been working on this one. And all this old paint kind of flakes right off. <laughs> Just to, all over the ground. Just to prepare it for painting. That's step one. Feel you rolling a little. You locked in place? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, there's leaves falling on me. There we go. This is three thick coats of paint on here. Um, I just finished the third. And we got a lot a long ways to go. Um, this is old wood and it's just sucking up the paint. And this is a special paint color. That's $30 for that little can. I don't know if I already said that or not. And I'm like, Dad, <laughs> do you have any primer? He's like, no. He's like, just, just make it work and it'll, you know, just do what you can. I like to do a really good job and have it look amazing and have him be excited about it. Um, but he's like, just, just do what you can. So that's what I'm doing. Okay guys, it's time for a little break. I ran out of the green paint. So I am going to go to Tractor Supply to get another can of that paint. And I'm gonna pick up lunch for my dad. And he was like, you wanna pick us up some lunch? And I said, well, I packed a lunch cause I wasn't sure like what, you know, he's got a lot to do in a short amount of time. So I was like, I just figured, you know, I'd just eat that real quick. but. He wants me to pick him up some Taco Bell. And I'm gonna grab an iced coffee from McDonald's because I'm dying. Um, it's hot, but I'm in the shade, so it's not too bad. But then when you're in the shade, then you get bit up by mosquitoes. So that can be a little rough. I, my hands were like covered in green paint. I have paint on my face, all over my arms and legs. My mom was like, you're a mess, you're covered in it. <laughs> and I was like, where? And she showed me and I'm like, it was like a little dot on my arm. I was like, it's not all over my arm, it's just a little dot. So anyway. I'm gonna go run those errands because I need more paint and he needs to eat and I need an iced coffee. I did, I brought my lunch with me. I'm gonna eat it on the way and I did grab a root beer. So I've got that, but I'm gonna need some iced coffee and I'm, I need to be drinking more. Um, I have a big jug of water and I need to stay hydrated. I start working and I just don't think about stopping to like drink or rest or um, like change positions, I'll like squat or I'll bend over and then the end of the day my body hurts all over because I was squatting and bending over. So I'm like, I have to remind myself to like change positions and take a drink and all of that stuff. I started at 9, 9.30 this morning. Had to take that little break to go get more paint and it's done. Well, the green is done, I should say. I just ran out of green. I used that whole can and I went over everything and over it and over and over it. And I learned something from my dad. So 
I thought I was done, but I still had some paint left. And he said, oh, um, the paint, it's good to get, so like see how the wood green has like these cracks in it? He's like, it's good to get it in those cracks because it protects the wood like over time. I was like, oh, all right. So I took the can and the paint that I had left and I went around and I was just like slapping it on thick as, in anywhere that I could to protect the wood. And um, the thing is, is like once it settles, it, it like settles into those cracks and then you have to go over it again and again and again. And I'm like, and he's like, yeah, it'll keep settling into the cracks. So I could paint it. I could be here till the day I die painting it and it's probably still gonna have those little cracks in it. <laughs> and now it's time to start on the bottom where he wants me to do the yellow. Um, I'm gonna check with him because it's four o'clock now. And um, I don't know if he's gonna want me to like wait and come back tomorrow, like let the green dry a little bit before I go in with the yellow. Or um, I know he wants to get it done like as soon as possible. So I'm going to check in with him and see if he wants me to go ahead and get started with the yellow or um, we'll come back tomorrow. Whoa. <laughs> the yellow. Wow. That's crazy. These are tractor supply. Like it's like a specific paint and paint color. And that is definitely John Deere. I think I got everything done that I can today. Um, I have some yellow touch-ups to do, but they're gonna have to wait till tomorrow because <laughs> whenever I try to go over the paint, it's still like wet in those spots and so it just smears. So I have to wait for it to fully dry before I can do anything. But let's take a little walk around. So I just have some touch-ups on the yellow to do and some spots. And he wanted that left silver and that left silver. And I have to get a finer brush to get in some crevices too, like those right there. And he has a mat or something that he's putting over top of this. Originally we were gonna paint this too. I was gonna paint it too, but um, it's in kind of bad shape. So it's real splintery. Probably come back tomorrow, touch up a few spots, come back with a new paint brush to get some of the small crevices and kind of go from there. So the other day we mentioned how my sister brought over sourdough bread because she learned how to make sourdough bread. This morning when they came to pick up Chelsea for jujitsu, she brought a cinnamon roll. And just now she's like, did you get a chance? Like, did you eat your cinnamon roll? And I was like, no, like I haven't eaten. <laughs> so I've been too busy to eat. So she got up early and made cinnamon rolls this morning. I'm like, oh my gosh. So we're gonna taste test, cinnamon roll. Mm. Oh, that is really good. It tastes like the Ikea ones we got. Well, you remember back in the last Florida house, mm -hmm. we actually did a video on making those cinnamon rolls. <laughs> they were pretty good. A lot of work, but they were oh pretty good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. <laughs> oh, you want some? <laughs> I was about to eat it all myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. It does taste, doesn't it taste like the ones we get at Ikea? Almost better. I'm trying to remember what they taste like. Oh. <laughs> that is yummy. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Good cinnamon flavor to it, but oh. natural cinnamon. Hey, that was supposed to be mine. <laughs> Did you have one? Did she give you one in the car? Mm -mm. Oh, I thought maybe she gave you one. 